Hi everyone, today I'm going to go over step by step how to convert a forward facing car seat with a lap belt installation into a booster seat. I've got two kids and they're about the same height and weight and so they're converting at the same time. I converted one of them earlier and realized I really needed better instructions so I decided when I do the second one I'm going to go ahead and make a video and hopefully it'll help somebody out there who is converting from forward facing to a booster seat. Now the two that I had specifically are both by Diono. One is the Rainier and the other is the the Radian RXT. The one that I'm going to be doing here today is the Radian RXT. I've already completed the Rainier, but they're nearly identical in how they convert from the car seat to the booster seat. So if you have either of them, this should work out for you. Of course, there's instruction manuals that come with both of these seats, and you should always follow the manufacturer recommended instructions. And the only thing that I'm showing you here is just what I did to convert my kids' forward facing car seats to the booster boosters. So please always follow the instructions that the manufacturer recommends. This is just to give you a visual reference, at least to how I interpreted the instructions and how I ended up converting these. This video is in no way a substitution for the actual instruction manual that the manufacturer provides. So please follow those and just use this video as reference. I'll also leave links in the description to anything that I mention or use in the video. Okay, so step one is just to find the standard seat belt that is running through your car seat and detach it here just as if you're detaching any other seat belt. Next, go to the back and take a look at the harness there that you can see here. You're going to also want to find the anchor that's connected to your seat or wherever it's connected in your vehicle and give yourself a little bit of slack. It'll make it a lot easier. Next, find these harness straps. There's going to be this clip here that you need to kind of weave the harness straps out through and eventually when they come out the side then that will totally give you free access to pull these all the way through the seat and that way you'll have the top part of this totally disconnected. What you'll have now is just this clip here and also you'll have the strap just without the clip. You'll have two of those. Now you can go to the front and you can just pull those two straight through and there won't be any restriction. Get these pulled all the way through and you're also going to need to look at what you need to take off here. There's going to be clips and there's also going to be those black pads that you need to take off. So this clip will have to come off and this will also come off so you're just going to pull these things off to clear off the belts once they're totally clear and just laying here then that's when you're going to be able to go to the next step where you can pull it through the rest of the seat once you have that out look on the back and you'll find your latch system it should be stored in the top of your seat go ahead and get those disconnected from the little storage area and keep those off to the side because you're going to need these in a little bit to make the connections for this step this is where we're going to need our phillips head screwdriver and you're going to find on the side of the seat, there's a little panel with two screws. And I'll point to it here so you can see what I'm talking about. The one screw is here and then the other screw is over here. And these two need to come totally out. So you're going to remove this completely and you should just have two screws and this little panel. And it'll leave you this opening here on the side. Inside there, you're going to find a black clip, a metal clip on the strap. And that's what you're going to need to pull straight through. And that will allow you to remove the harness from the seat. You're going to have to do this on both sides and then of course just reattach these once you have that totally out. And now it should look like this. So you still have the strap in the middle to take out and you need to take off the pad of course and then you've probably adjusted this over time but just as a reminder you look right in here through the rear facing belt pad and in there you're going to see that there is a little strap hanging down. You need to find that and reach in there. It's a little bit tight to reach in. At least it was for me, but there, there's a better picture of it. And then you just push this straight up through the seat and remove that. And then once you have that out, then you've got your total harness system totally taken out. And this is what the seat should look like at this point. Now it's time to find your latch system that you hopefully set off to the side and you're going to weave it back through the seat. And you can look in the instruction manual just to give you a, another clear indicator of how to do this. But I find it easier to reach inside 
side here and kind of open up this Velcro so I can see what I'm doing and you can reach in there and get it through the seat and attach to your latch system. Then you can pull on this to tighten up your latch system and make sure you reattach your anchor in the back because you will be utilizing that. Once I had that attached, then I take out the slack and I'm ready to use the seatbelt from my vehicle now. So I've got to find a shoulder guide and it's actually behind this headrest here. You'll see a little red tab and that's where the shoulder strap will go and that's where it'll stay. It's how it guides it over your child's shoulder and then there's two other guides on either side of the seat which is where when it crosses their lap that's where the seatbelt will stay. So that's how I converted my forward-facing car seat to be a booster. I hope it helps somebody out there. Please again leave comments below if you see anything that we could have done better or should have done or would have been easier kind of things. That just really helps out everybody. I hope this was really helpful. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.